now that we've set this up, we're going to, uh, you know, destroy yeah. all the work we did. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to change it up as you yeah. would during the we're during the day do a, and a do a simple another program job. right here at the control. Um, maybe you need something on the fly, a quick job on the fly. Uh, someone's going to give you a PDF, and you're going to look at that print. Maybe you just want to draw it out right here on the control. So we do have a light mode right here on our control. And it's basically simplified, uh, maybe um, for less experienced operators. So it's mm -hmm. going to guide you through how you want to do your job. Okay. So we're just going to follow our ticker right here. So let's just pick our thickness. We'll just say it's 18 gauge. It does come preloaded with uh, hard and soft materials. Cool. Uh, core roll, stainless, aluminum, uh, galvanized, whatever you guys are really using, we're able to input that in there for you. Now we'll pick our bend length. We'll just say it's four feet. And now that's all filled out, we can just go right to our next step. And so we're looking at our paper. We just need a hat channel on the fly. If you notice, I can change the angle of that real fast. And this is basically just my rough draft. Wow. I like what I see right there. I go right to my next step. And now just dialing in my dimensions here where they really should be. So I have my proper uh, flat. Okay. Wow. So now I like what I see, it's perfect. It matches my drawing. If you notice, it does give you my own fold size according to the tools I'm using. So yeah. you can just plug that dimension in right there to your, uh, your laser, one of our lasers. And now you have your part out, you know, in about five minutes. So, so you've basically taken a hand drawing and made it into a part drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right here on the fly. Yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. so now we can just go to our next step. Oh, question for you on yes. that. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, you said, hey, you know, these are the 90s I want. Mm -hmm. And uh, does it snap to while you're doing the, is it, it snaps to like 90 or 45, the common angles maybe? I'm just, uh, uh, like well, when you're creating that uh, just as a drawing? Oh, yeah, no, um, yeah, I think it will. Yeah. Um, as I'm drawing it out, yeah. if you notice, it basically will give you kind of just where your finger's going, really. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But you're able to actually control the angle if you needed to. Wow, okay. Yeah, I love that. So That's cool, yeah. We could just go right there, back to that. Okay. Fix that. So, like I was saying, back to our next step. If your, uh, your operator have trouble sequencing his part. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't know which one he wants to go first without crashing. Obviously that's crashing. He didn't know uh, what to do. We do have an auto feature. It's nice. Let's just delete that whole sequence there. Start fresh. I'm just gonna choose auto. It's gonna find that sequence there right there for me. It's gonna tool, uh, tool it out for me as I go. <laughs> so I'm gonna justify my part right here on the control. I'm not wasting any material, I'm not throwing away any parts. Uh, I know exactly where my parts should be, how it's bending, how I'm supposed to be holding it, what it's gauging off of. So if it did, if it was going to crash, it will give you that uh, error. Let's just change that real fast and I'll show you. So it will just demonstrate. Okay. Number four, it's crashing. So it's letting you know. Wow. So it, it could justify your whole part right here on the fly uh, without wasting really any, uh, any material. So and do that. Once that's all good to go, you go right to your next step, and then we could actually tool it out. And there's your setup right there. There's your setup. If you didn't like those, yeah, we could always just change them. Maybe we want to use our goosenecks. Okay. Huh? Pop that in there. Say if we want to reverse our goosenecks. We're just going to reverse it right there. Okay. And now, we can just go ahead, see if it's still good. We're still okay. We could actually go ahead and go to our next step. We like what I see. Yeah. And we're just going to tool this out. 